Hello, this is Nemirin, and today I'm going to do a little thing different than what I usually do. So, what I've been trying to do is install my View Pro controller on the PC to be able to use it with games and shit. And it's doable. You There are lots of tutorials about it on the internet, but None of them was really updated, and since the tools to do it changed over time, the way to do it changed as well, and I had to spend like three hours just figuring out what to do and how to connect the controller into such a state that I can use it in games, actually. So I decided to make a video about it, so it is now July 29th, 2017, so and it should work now. I am not sure if it, will, if it will work in a month or in a year. So if it doesn't, just find a new one, <laughs> I suppose. Okay, so what I needed to do is get a Bluetooth connector, connection connector. I got a little like Bluetooth thingy, small, tiny, expensive as fuck, but I got it. Uh, what what needed to be done? is following this tutorial on the v Vinu Pro site you install the Toshiba stack program and you need that to be able to connect the controller itself because it's a different device so what do you need uh, like use the Toshiba stack with your Bluetooth uh, device which doesn't need to be Toshiba so that's a good thing and we need this Toshiba device Toshiba stack to connect the device, the EVU Pro controller, because the others, there is some other stack, but it doesn't work as well as this one. So yeah. Anyways, you use this tutorial that's on the screen right now, but I will, I will also post the post the link to the description. Now, what you need to do, I will roughly follow it, and what I actually ended up doing, because this tutorial is old. Uh, old as well, but it sort of works. So, step one, I didn't have to disable the driver signature. I am on Windows 7, fully updated, but it may it may happen that you need to do it, but I didn't have to. Uh, what I did do is go to the device manager, find the Bluetooth in there, find the Bluetooth, uninstall the uninstall the automatically install driver from the Bluetooth dongle because it Windows found it immediately and I didn't need to use it. Ne then before I uninstalled it however I took the took the ID of it as this tutorial tells you I took the ID and saved it into notepad. Uh, then I uninstalled it and went to install the Toshiba stack as you would normal as you would normally do. Then uh, to install the right, uh, the Toshiba stack doesn't actually work with the View Pro controller immediately, and with the and neither it does with the uh, Bluetooth dongle. So what you have to do is actually just follow the tutorial, they, they explain everything, what to do. You install it normally and then you change some stuff around. You also need to edit one specific... You need to do this A, probably. I needed to do the A. Maybe you won't. You go on the step 6, you will have some options. And basically you just tell it that, that your Bluetooth device, your Bluetooth dongle is compatible with the Toshiba stack because it most likely is. It's just a precaution on their side. Then after several restarts you you install the Toshiba stack. To have it used for more than 30 days you have to also change a value either in registry or use a DLL, DLL that's on to be found on the site, so I recommend using the DLL, it's simple, you can't screw it up, possibly, and it will work just fine. Now, 
this this went all fine according to all the other tutorials. This isn't anything new. The next step on the other tutorials is installing some other stuff, some input converters, and generally stuff that you don't need. What you need to do at this point is open up the Bluetooth settings, add a new connection, go express mode, go next, now click the sync button on your view pro controller and it will find it. I already have it installed so I will not be adding it. But you just go through. It will it will appear like this and it will be connected to your computer to this although the lights on the controller itself will be flashing. Now this is a step that I got massively confused on because if you don't do anything the controller will, will turn off again and it won't be connected. What you need to do is download Vinu Soft from the site of the Vinu Pro or Vinu Pro, but I use, I'm using the Vinu Soft because it's easier and I figured it out basically. So what you need to do is download the Vinu Soft and when you download it, it will most likely this will be empty. Now when you click the connect here and turn off your turn on your on your controller it will appear on the left side over here if you click ID on it the controller will vibrate and it will connect and it's I first identification thingy should light up and you then from that point your controller is connected to your computer your computer recognizes it but as a control as a pro controller not as a Xbox controller and most games need your controller to be an Xbox One. So what you do is click this button here, connect this as, as either of these and it will move to the right side over here. It's still connected, if I click the ID it will vibrate and then from this point onwards Windows recognizes the controller. This was, th this seems incredibly simple but according to all the others, all, all the other tutorials you needed like two other programs to be installed between these two steps and no you don't not anymore anyways next on you will notice if you click this branch icon you will notice this thing and you can click on default wait on default it will bind the same letters to the same letters on the on the controller which will mean as you can see that B is bound to B and A is bound to A and X is bound to X and Y is bound to Y but the problem is they are in different positions and it must, it just might happen that you want to change up those positions because some games are designed about it being in this place and stuff so I generally just changed it around like this and I saved the configuration and after you do that I'll actually load the one I already have saved after you do that you not that button you can go to this little cock item and not that uh, you can right it's this menu icon you can set the default profile to be the one that you made and saved whatever you may want to do and stuff just you can you can just select it and that way whenever you reconnect the controller it will start with that specific profile selected. Now another thing that I've never seen mentioned is that what do you do after you turn off the controller? Because if I turn off the controller now, I turn it off, if I click ID nothing happens. The controller is disconnected. The software remembers it but is disconnected. What do you want to do? When you turn on the controller, even turning it on doesn't do actually anything you need to press the sync button again and click the connect on the bluetooth on the Toshiba stack bluetooth thingy and after that you click the ID button and that connects the controller that's, that's everything you need to do all for any following connections it works just fine it, you can then just turn on a game it will work in it, it will work in Steam Big Picture mode 
and it being the Wii U Pro Controller, it has amazing battery life and it works just fine. So if you have any questions or any problems, please leave them in comments. I will try to I will try to answer them if I know how to, and if not, I'll at least try to guide you in the right direction. And hopefully I helped you because as I said I spent three hours research just finding it out that what I need to do is just this, nothing else. And it was a pain in the ass. So hope I helped you. See you next time.